Green Market Square is a historical square in the center of Old Cape Town, South Africa. The square was built in 1696, when a burger watch house was erected. Over the years, the square has served as a slave market, a vegetable market, a parking lot and more recently, a flea market trading mainly African souvenirs, crafts and curios. Near the center of the square is a hand-operated pump used to bring clean water to the surface from an underground river that runs through the city. During the apartheid era, Green Market Square was often the focus of political protests, due in part to its proximity to Parliament, as well as the ethnicity of its traders and shoppers. Topic: <laughs> Location. The square is located in the center of the City Bowl area of Cape Town's city center between St. George's Mall to the southeast and Long Street to the square's northwest. Strand Street is located to the north of the square and Whale Street to the south. The area in front of the front door of the old town house on the square is regarded as the historical center of Cape Town. Short Market Street and Long Market Street border the square on either side with Berg Street running through the middle of the square. Topic: History Early history In the years following Cape Town's establishment in 1652 a number of streets came into existence above Strand Street which followed the natural shoreline and the company gardens which initially functioned as a market garden run by the Dutch East India Company to supply ships. The square developed naturally as the venue for the sale of fresh produce from the garden and surrounding farms. The sale of other goods and services including the sale of slaves followed shortly after. A fountain was established as a key point for townspeople to access drinking water. Following its establishment as a market the square became the administrative and social centre of the town with the construction of a burger watch house in 1696 to provide security. By the 1730s rural-style thatch-roofed dwellings around the square began to be replaced by flat-roofed single and multiple-storey houses. In 1761, the watch house was demolished and the old town house built in the site. This building functioned as the city hall and burger watch house for a period of time. Topic: 19th and 20th century. Nearly all the single-storied buildings round the square had been replaced with taller buildings by 1845. In 1879 the Central Metropolitan Church was constructed on the square. The square lost its prominence following the completion of the Cape Town City Hall in 1905 whereupon trading moved to the Grand Parade opposite the City Hall. In the 1930s a number of Art Deco style buildings were constructed around the square, in the 1950s the square was turned into a parking lot. The square and surrounding buildings were declared a national monument in 1961. 
In the late 1980s the parking lot was replaced with a flea market trading African curios and crafts and rented out to private vendors. In September 1989 the square was the center of the Purple Rain protest against apartheid. In the mid-1990s until 2007 the square was run by controversial city councillor Badi Charbon who held a lease on 83% of the square and owed the city R3.3 million. Charbon's lease was cancelled in 2007 amid accusations of mismanagement and corruption. Topic: Current status. The square was pedestrianized in the early 2000s, allowing for better market access and greater pedestrian safety. As of 2016, the Central City Improvement District had been appointed to run the square and conduct research into how it and the trading stores could be improved. Topic. See also Purple Rain Protest Rainbow Nation Peace Ritual Michaelis Collection